All right, here are our last two practice problems. Please follow along with me. We're going to start in our ones column on number three. We've got eight take away nine. Now, do you see a problem with that? Yes, we're going to need to borrow. So let's get our draw drawing tool. And we're going to go next door and borrow from Mr. Six. We're going to take one away from him, making him a five. And he gets to give 10 ones over here to my ones column, making the eight an 18. And the one in front of that eight. OK, now if we look at our tens column, we're going to have five take away eight. We do have a problem with that as well. So we're going to borrow from Mr. Three, bringing him down to a two so that I can give 10 over here, um, 10 ones to my tens column, putting a one in front of the five, making it a 15. All right, so now we can start in our ones column, 18 take away nine. Now, if you'd like to count backwards, you can, or you can start at nine and count up to 18. I like to start with the small number and count up to the big number. So I've got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That is 9. Okay, now we have 15 take away 8. Starting with the small number, counting up to the big number. Remember, in class, we always um, start with um, a fist. So we pound our fist into the other hand starting eight, and then we start counting nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that is seven. Okay, we've got our hundreds column, two, take away two is zero. We do not need to write our zero there because it is nothing, so we just leave it. And our answer is 79. Let's carry, or let's move on to number four. Number four is 573 take away 372. Starting in my ones column, I have three take away two. Hold up three fingers and take away two of them. How many do you have left? We've got one. Moving on to our tens column, we have seven take away seven. If you have seven dollars and you spend seven dollars, how much are you gonna have left? You will have nothing, zero, zero. Okay, five take away three. If you have five fingers and take away three, how many do you have left? We have two. So as you can see on number four, we did not have to ungroup or borrow at all. On number three, however, we did have to borrow in both the ones column and the tens column. So um, you'll have some problems where you'll have to borrow a few different times and some problems where you won't have to borrow at all but please make sure that you um, double check your answers so you get them all correct. And of course, let me know if you have questions. You can go ahead and get a start on your assignment now.